Hey guys, MC Clark here with another figure review. Next up is the Hasbro Marvel Legends series X-Men The Age of Apocalypse Wave 2 Colossus Build-A-Figure. Here we have Cyclops. So before I get into it, um, I did get my um, X-Men Wave from ToySnowman.com. I will have my referral link in the video description below to save you, to get you a 5% off coupon. Toy Snowman is based in Canada. So on their website, you will actually see Canadian prices, uh, the Canadian dollar prices, not the US dollar prices. So after the conversion, you will see that price go down. So a lot of folks, I will say this, when you go to the site, well, they'll see it and they'll say, why is it so much more expensive? Again, it is. <laughs> they are based in Canada, uh, so you see the Canadian dollar. Once you set up your account and everything, then you'll be able to see you know, what the US price listing, it'll already do the conversion for you. Uh, so be aware of that. But again, my referral link in the video description below to save you 5%, um, uh, to get you a 5% coupon at toysnowman.com. So here we have Cyclops. So when we got the first wave, um, I was thinking, you know what, Cyclops would be pretty interesting because he's, you know, one of the major um, X-Men characters that everyone's going to kind of recognize. Um, so they should do it. And, and his design is crazy different. Um, it, but it's interesting. But we do finally have one now that we got a second wave. Um, so let's get right to it. We got the X-Men logo there, Apocalypse, Age of Apocalypse there in the corner, Colossus Build-A-Figure, side artwork. We got uh, Apocalypse back there, and we have this awesome screaming artwork of Cyclops looking pretty cool. Here on the back of the package, we get that same image. The bio for Cyclops reads, Cyclops helps prisoners escape from Apocalypse's prison camps in an attempt to be a force for good in a harsh, dystopian future. Now, I didn't finish reading um, Age of Apocalypse, but some of the stuff that I did read, um, like Cyclops was kind of a bad guy, right? W wasn't he um, aligned with Sinister? Didn't he consider Sinister to be like his father, right? Um, alongside his brother, I think it was, was it Havoc? Was it Havoc or was it his other brother? I gotta look, I gotta think back on that. You guys can correct me down in the comments below. Um, but, um,. It, it is interesting, but I do remember he was definitely lined, uh, um, aligned with uh, Mr. Sinister, cause, and they all had long hair, and I'm thinking, what the hell is going on? But anyway, um, here we have a look at all the figures in the wave. We are on Cyclops, so we've only taken a look at these. Well, actually, I did start with Legion way back when, when I got it from Turlock, so we're moving right along here. Um, so without further ado, let's get Cyclops out of the box. Okay, and here is the Cyclops figure out of the package, and I'm going to be straight up honest with you guys. I do not like this figure, like, at all. Um, like, at all. I just, I really, really don't. So first, accessories, he's got nothing. He comes with the, which leg is it? This looks like the left leg to the Colossus Builder figure, so that is cool. We'll set that off to the side with the other Colossus uh, pieces. Um, and then we have here Cyclops, but again... I do not like this figure. When I think Cyclops, this is who I think of um, when I think Cyclops. So this is and will always and forever be my favorite version of Cyclops, my favorite Cyclops figure. Um, it uses the Bucky Cat body, but I really like that figure. This uses the Bucky Cat body, but I hate this figure. I don't, I don't like it. And there's a couple of reasons for it. In in all seriousness, I really, I really truly don't like um, this figure. I don't know what it is with Bucky Cat, but I feel like something's changed with the legs. I feel like the torso has gotten better where it used to be very gappy and used to be loose. I haven't seen that in a very long time, but there's something about these legs and it could just be mine. Um, it really could be, but it's a problem that I had with like the pirate Deadpool figure. Um, the, the, the Bucky Cat legs just for whatever reason just seem to be real shit and not want to function um, like legs should be like I see how this Cyclops is standing here He looks like he's kind of standing up straight Why is it that a lot of the times with Bucky cap? I feel like the figures look like this where they're standing up, but they're leaning to one side and I think it's because I'm looking at it closely like these two hip pieces this one definitely seems to be higher up in the hip than this one and I don't know if that's something that even can be fixed or what the issue may be but that seems to be um, a problem the other thing is is the legs seem really stiff here at that hip like it just doesn't you really have to force it to move um, so the legs just kind of look weird when you want to get him to stand up um, and they always look turned and it just it's just a fight that I just don't want to do and I've always I've always noticed this but um, Bucky cap standard Bucky cap feet are tiny like dudes got little ass feet 
Um, so that creates a stability I issue. I just, I, I don't know, it's just worse when it's just all plain, no design to it. At least this guy has the straps and stuff on there to really break up the sculpt and it doesn't look so bad. But this, I mean, God, it's just horrible. And then the other thing, uh, from the action figure standpoint, is they didn't give him boots. They went with the standard Bucky Cap legs, but he had boots in the comic. It, so either they just didn't want to sculpt new boots and they wanted to save money. Um, I get it. We got new arm pieces and things like that in this. So, you know, there are some new pieces, um, but it looks very odd without the boots breaking up the sculpt. So at least again here, these are different calves. These are more of a smooth one. You don't really see the muscle definition in there because it's an actual boot. If we would have maybe even gotten those legs, maybe it would have looked a little bit better. But the way it is now, it's just odd when you just have the plain leg all in one color. It just looks kind of funky. And then here, these arms, which are pretty cool, they're double jointed elbows and they're pinless. You don't get really any function out of the double joint because the biceps and the armor on his left arm are so large, it greatly hinders um the figure but like like dude's yoked he, he's he's crazy ripped right but then the arms seem massive in comparison to the rest of the figure now looking at the comic artwork you know cyclops is a little bit bulkier sure um but the figure is not so maybe if they would have used a different torso it we would be having a very different conversation right now um and i'm trying to think of what torso uh could have worked and i think even if it was like the Magneto one, this torso would have worked out a lot better um, than, than the Bucky Cap. Or if they even used this body, I would have been okay with that too. But the Bucky Cap it, here, it just doesn't work for me. And I'm, I don't even hate Bucky Cap. I could get it. Bucky Cap is a decent body mold. But for whatever reason, the execution on my figure, my so AOA Cyclops figure just... It isn't there. So I, I've ranted on for like four and a half minutes just talking shit about this figure. Um, let's get in for the closer look of the details because there are some good things in there. I don't want to take away from that. It's just mostly bad. But let's zoom in so we could talk about some of the armor pieces and things like that because it's done nicely at least. Okay, so here's an up-close look at the Cyclops figure. Um, and again, the character design from the comic um, is, is really weird now another thing is dude's got a massive forehead and i think it's because my hair isn't quite glued on um exactly in the right spot like i see a little bit of gap right at the at the top of the hair where the hair meets right at that glare you see that so maybe my hair just wasn't quite glued into the right spot but that forehead is just kind of crazy massive and i really don't care uh for the long hair and that long hair makes it to where this dude's head is not look he's going to turn there and that's about it he's not going to get a whole lot of other motion i mean he's not going to look up he's going to look down um but there's just not a whole lot going for him there um and i think he lost an eye if i'm not mistaken i think that was in a fight with weapon x wolverine right i think cyclops loses an eye and weapon x loses a, a hand um you guys can correct me if i'm wrong down um in the comments below but that's why you only see red um on one side of that visor piece there you have this um earpiece there the armor though that's what's done really nice on this figure so you see some of that like crackling in there it looks like it's all cuts and battle damage and everything and they do this light brown like tannish paint you can see a lot of the line work here on the gauntlet piece to his right arm that's done quite nicely on the shoulder pad here and then throughout the his whole left arm because his left arm is mostly armor the the shoulder ball there um as you can see um you can see some skin tone um flesh colored skin tone uh for the shoulder but then there's this pad over his shoulder there and it's done nicely we get that gold paint with that rusty uh battle damage look throughout the gauntlet and everything of the arm you could see it in the back of the hand you all see that um the straps and and, and pouches and things like that it's all done in the same goldish color um as you could see there it is not something that it looks like it would come apart at any portion so you would to move, remove it you pop the head off and try to kind of really work through it um there but that all looks really good and then the rest of the figure is just blue literally nothing else going on with it um and that's it okay so while we're up close with the figure i want to talk about the arms dude's yoked he's got some crazy big ass arms a couple of problems with that is this gauntlet piece as you can see is quite large the bicep is huge so when you look at the elbow that elbow joint 
to get that double jointed elbow to work um, you can't really do anything like so that's 90 degrees barely so you could also if you want to just use the lower elbow joint and use that you're gonna get the same bend um, for the most part so it's just it's not really a very good double jointed elbow it's even worse on this side as you can see this large armor piece here the way they designed they should have just gone with a single elbow but it is in fact a double jointed elbow the easiest thing is to just do the lower elbow and give you that much bend um, there but in order to get this other one the way it the way it's working you have to really get the arm straight out first and then force that upper part to then use the articulation but then that's all you're going to get as far as a bend it's hardly anything at all i really would have preferred just a single jointed elbow maybe if we got a little bit of a deeper cut elbow in there we could have gotten a little bit more range of motion in there um, but we just don't get a whole lot i really don't like these legs they're just so stiff and just they don't like hardly want to come out it's just ah, what a pain in the ass but anyway Let's go over his articulation. So we've already kind of looked at quite a bit of his articulation already. You know, I showed you his head. You know, you're going to get a rotation in there. Not really any pivot. He can't look up at all because of his long hair. He can look down a little bit, but then the hair also gets into that shoulder strap uh, there. So it's just not really... It, not really functional um, the shoulder you can get to go straight out on his left arm same with the right arm you can get it a mm, tad bit higher you can get a full rotation in there but you got to watch out for that shoulder strap um, of course but again you can actually get a full rotation in there you have an upper bicep swivel as well and the bicep is much larger than the shoulder ball but it is covered in armor so I get it I went over the ar the elbow articulation wrist swivel and they do hinge and he just has fists on both hands they are new hands however because you get that armor plating in the back uh, there uh, same uh, wrist articulation on the right hand as well ab crunch you can crunch Cyclops forward that much you can go back that much so decent amount in there we have a waist swivel but man mine's mine is completely stuck and I haven't even oh there it is I got it I cracked it so waist swivel but that belt piece with the shoulder strap really gets in the way so you can't really twist them around and there's not a whole lot of wiggle room and play on there you can lift up oh there we go we get the full rotation that way if you just kind of lift the belt up um, force it up a little bit legs go out super far apart you could do the full-on splits as you can see there he can kick forward that much leg goes back a little bit you have an upper thigh cut in there you get a double jointed elbow, uh, knee like so look at that my leg like popping off at the thigh uh, you get a calf swivel in there foot hinges all the way down you get a little bit of hinge going up ankle pivot pickles at the bottom of the feet so um, bucky cap so you know what you're getting into limited elbows uh, limited neck articulation um, and just an extremely plain design for Cyclops when in the comics he actually had you know different boots and that would have set things apart uh, for the Cyclops but I just really don't like the design and I think the figure execution um, just isn't isn't up to standard for a legend it's it's extremely basic and there's some figures where it kind of makes sense but for this one um, it just doesn't work for me the bulky ass arms um, it go, along with the tiny thin legs and super small feet just I don't know I'm, I'm ranting and going on and on super negative in this video um, and people are gonna say man you're so negative all the time I'm really not but um, this is just a figure that just doesn't excite me in any way it doesn't work for me um, I just don't like the way it came out. That maybe it's just me. I don't know. Okay, and here are the four figures in the way that I have reviewed so far. So Magneto, Rogue, Cyclops, and Legion. Uh, Cyclops is going to be my least favorite figure of the wave. I already know that. Um, and I didn't really care for the Rogue figure all that much. But the Cyclops, he's definitely going to be at the bottom of the list for me. Okay, my final thoughts on the Cyclops figure. Again, I don't like it. I'm going to leave it at that. You guys let me know down in the comments below what you think of this Cyclops figure. Um, again, I mean, for the most part, accurate to the comic, minus the boots. Um, it's the character design that I really don't like. But for whatever reason, my, in my particular figure, the Bucky Cap um, just seems problematic with the legs and everything. And it just doesn't look... Right, he's got massive arms, but then his legs are super small because of the bucky cap. Uh, just a few things, but I, just overall, I really don't care for the figure 
Um, you guys, again, let me know your, your thoughts down in the comments below. If you guys like this video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. As always, thank you for watching.